a trend I noticed throughout this year, and it started back around January, February, was misinformation. Misinformation from otherwise reputable sources. A lot of reputable sources, or sources I had ranked as reputable, lost their ranking this year. Sources that could be trusted, like Tom's Hardware, can no longer be trusted by me anyway. Uh, there's too much gossip, there's too much rumor, there's no technical editor anymore. Uh, it just seems like they publish to publish. It doesn't matter. I mean, this, this could be a good thing if you're looking for a job and you're like, I don't really know anything about tech, but I wanna, I like to write. Tom's Hardware will probably hire you. It doesn't really matter if you know what you're talking about. And then other people will read your articles as though you know what you're talking about because it's coming from Tom's Hardware. So Tom's Hardware has diluted their reputation in the industry and they continue to do so even most recently. And um, so, so to give you some examples, back in January there was some discussion about uh, TP-Link routers that you know Congress was going to ban them. And well, that issue has not officially been put to bed or resolved. It also hasn't been discussed any further. So we've gone almost a whole year. And it was just people in Congress going, hmm, I wonder if there's something here. And then everybody took off with that uh, publishing wise. And once a reputable publisher writes it, well, then it's everybody assumes it's true. And then, of course, all of the Internet fear uh, and clickbait starts. So that's how we started the year. Then in February, there was this announcement that uh, a hidden microphone was discovered in the Nano KVM. It's one of the single dumbest, most ignorant, lacking of any technical knowledge, written up articles I've ever read in my life. And people latched onto it. Um, yes, it, the, it, there's a microphone on the board on the little tiny Nano KVM, not the Pro, but the regular one. You say, well, why would they do that? Why would they put a microphone on it? They didn't put a microphone on it. <laughs> but you just said there's a microphone on it. Yes, they don't make that board. If I said to you, I have a Raspberry Pi motherboard, and, and you said, why do you have that? What's my answer going to be? Somebody tell me, what's, why would you go out and buy a Raspberry Pi motherboard? I'm building something. I'm a hobbyist, and I'm, I can take this board, and I can, I can make a camera out of it. I can control home automation. I can do anything I want to. This, this little Raspberry Pi board, if I'm a hobbyist, if I'm a modder, I don't have to put the board together. It's already pre-assembled, and then I just adapt it to whatever my imagination wants to create out of it. So the folks over at Cyped said, wouldn't this be a great idea? They have this little Lychee RISC-V processor, RISC-V, and it's already built. It's a project board. It's a development board. They've been saying it the whole time, and people don't listen, or they don't comprehend what they're writing, but that doesn't stop them from yelling about their ignorance and then scaring even more ignorant people that believe them and their nonsense. This is just February. So you go, oh, gee, why would Cyped just not remove the microphone? Because it adds to the cost. Why would you buy a Raspberry Pi? Why not just build your own? Because it'll cost more. So the folks over at Cyped said, we could take this project board and turn it into a KVM, and we can sell it for like 40 bucks. 40 bucks. $40. How can they sell it that cheap? Because someone else is making the board, and they modify it, put the software on it, now it's a KVM. It's the cheapest KVM on the market for a reason. And that little board, because it's a project board, it's a development board, it could be used, again, you can use it as a camera, you could use it for whatever your imagination wants to use it for. It's a project board. And I think it's genius for Cyped to go, why should we go through the added expense of making our own board? They're already made. We buy them, a, a, you know a dime a dozen, they're super cheap, and we could just develop the software in a GitHub open source community, and, uh, and now you have a $40 KVM. That's what it was when it first came out. It was like $39. Nobody had ever seen anything like it before. So the microphone wasn't being used. They didn't write any code to utilize it. 
and they didn't spend any money to take it off. And it's well documented since day one. That's what the board is. So if you have any idea of what you're buying, you wouldn't be upset by it. But the clueless people who have no idea what they're buying, who think they're so important that somebody wants to listen in on what they're saying, is some of the most preposterous disconnection from reality I have ever seen in my life. But then, that's just February, because wait, there's more. What other lies, deceptions, manipulations, and clickbait happened since? What about the Windows update that breaks solid state drives? How about that? Not true, completely 100% lies, published by places like Tom's Hardware as though it were true. And again, another example of why you can't trust Tom's Hardware anymore. They've lost all technical credibility. If you want to hang out with a bunch of your friends and gossip about stuff you know nothing about, it's not illegal. But when you start, if, if you have a reputation in the industry as a source for accurate information, especially when it's technical, um, why would you just soil that and throw it away for clicks? Because Tom's Hardware did it again. Last week, Tom's Hardware posted there's a microphone in the KBM. Does anybody at Tom's Hardware, like, did, were they alive in February? They're just now hearing about this. So guess what stirred up a hornet's nest? Tom's Hardware. And then because they have such a reputation, which I hope isn't going to last much longer, they cannot be trusted anymore. They are flat out liars or just complete incompetent. They're not journalists. They don't do what journalists do. They're gossipers and rumor spreaders and clickbait aggregators. That's all Tom's Hardware has become. I strongly recommend, if you want to go to Tom's Hardware, uh, maybe go to The Onion instead. I think that's more useful because at least The Onion's not being serious about their lies and gossip and rumors and clickbait. Um, so this whole thing came up again. So now all these other media outlets and YouTube content creators are responding to, oh my gosh, they're spying on me because I'm so important and they want to hear everything I have to say is the most ridiculous nonsense I've ever heard. Nobody knows who you are. And I don't even want to hear these people who are complaining. I don't want to hear them. If you're complaining that people are listening to you, I don't want to listen to you because you're complaining that people are listening to you and nobody's listening to you and nobody wants to. <laughs> How's that for putting it bluntly? This self-importance, I don't know where this comes from. And furthermore, when the device is next to a, you know, a big server or you know, a computer, it's usually there's fans running and, and nobody, by the way, has really demonstrated this. Like, well, they could use that microphone to hack. Well, show me. If that can be done, show me. Because 999 out of 1,000 people that have that issue, it's in their head. They don't know how it can work. They don't know how. Well, I read online it could be done. Show me. Show me. Let me hear the quality of the microphone. Let me see if I can make out what you're saying. Hack it yourself. Show me. You said it could be hacked. So you go ahead and hack it. And you show me a demonstration of a hacked Nano KVM with a working micro. Don't point me to a video. No, no. I want you to do it. Well, I don't know how to do that. Exactly. And that's why nobody really cares about what you have to say. It's just the most preposterous nonsense. And the, and the reason it's upsetting is because we've never, I personally never seen more nonsense in my life on the internet than what I saw in 2025. And I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that in 2026, along with the advent of AI, this is going to triple or quadruple in the amount of misinformation. Once people get numb to being shocked and clickbaited, then when the real information comes out, no one's going to listen to it. When there's real danger, no one's going to believe it. It's the old story. It's a couple of old fables I was taught growing up as a very small child that these people never learned. Then their education system and their parents have failed them. One is Chicken Little. If you don't know the story of Chicken Little, I strongly recommend you read it. I'm sorry it's written for a three-year-old, but you should have a three-year-old's knowledge, at least by now. 
There's also the story of the boy who cried wolf. This is another very important fable, and it is taught to children, or it used to be, at a very young age. So if you just go ahead and read those two real short stories, I think you could be a much more responsible adult if you understand why those stories exist then you wouldn't want to be a part of that. You wouldn't want to be the subject matter of such a book, would you? Let's take what this adult's doing and let's teach it the three-year-olds and teach them not to do what the adult is doing. Is that something you strive for? I, I don't think so, but it is what people are doing online right now and it's happening in mass. We continue to see so many lies, so much misinformation, some of which is malicious, some of which is ignorant, and uh, some of which is just there to make money.